Common Society is a British learned society that promotes and celebrates the history of engineering and technology. The organization was founded in London in 1920 and takes its name from Thomas Newcomen, one of the inventors associated with the early development of the steam engine. The great achievement of the Newcomen steam engine took place around 1710 combining the ideas of Thomas Savory and Dennis Papin. Today the prestigious New Commons Society is based at the Science Museum in London. The Society publishes the International Journal for the History of Engineering and Technology, formerly the Transactions of the New Commons Society. The 83rd volume, number one, New Common Society's Journal of January 2013 published excerpts of a letter to the Society's journal editor, Roger Klein. The letter was by Thomas Biddle Pereira, American Professor Emeritus, announcing the discovery by American historian Richard Warren Lipak of William Fothergill Cook's original, previously unknown, 19th century manuscript journal for the development of the first perfected commercial electric telegraph system in the world. The initial announcement of this major historic document of English origin discovered in America was made at the Antique Wireless Association's 50th anniversary conference held at the Rochester Institute of Technology's Hotel and Convention Complex in Rochester, New York on August 18, 2011 in the United States. Um, it gives me great pleasure to present perhaps the most important discovery in the history of communications at this, the 50th anniversary AWA conference. The discovery is none other than the original handwritten journal created by Sir William Fothergill Cook as he developed the first commercial digital electromagnetic telegraph with Sir Charles Wheatstone and their machinist Frederick Kirby. Uh, before describing the wonders of the journal itself in more detail, let me explain what is known about its history and how it was literally plucked from obscurity by a very observant, highly skilled, and professional AWA member, Richard Warren Lippat. An extraordinary uh, find, Richard. The story of its travels reads like an adventure story. It has taken Richard over 10 years to uncover the complex history of the journal. He, we will only have time to summarize his work, but he will be including all of the details in a high resolution and highly detailed video that he's producing. The beautifully leather-bound journal was originally used starting in 1775 as a simple membership register for a now defunct organization. Importantly, this journal incorporates drawings and designs representing the inception of the first electric typewriter keyboard, dated in 1840. These amazing drawings mark the genesis of the modern internet and come about during the execution and development of the ABC telegraph system pioneered by Cook 
for execution and, uh, I'm sorry, for what became the inauguration of the Blackwall Railway Telegraph installation of 1840. It is these early innovations that are the primary thrust of the journal, and according to a recent paper by John Liffin, curator of communications at the Science Museum at London, the Blackwall Railway installation is a period for which nothing exists on record in their holdings or in any other museum. Well, Richard has found a journal that will ultimately illuminate and provide information for an absolute blank spot in the history of communications. Quote, in his paper on Cook and Wheatstone, John Liffin noted the history of the development of the telegraph on the railways had not been well told, unquote. Science Museum curator John Liffin had previously mentioned during his lecture before the New Common Society in 2007 that very little documentation exists for the Blackwall Railway installation of Cook and Wheatstone's telegraph. In subsequent lectures, Curator Liffen also elaborated that scant evidence exists from the early days of the Cook and Wheatstone telegraph inventions. The Archicom Conference of March 10, 2012, entitled The Archaeology of Communications, Telegraphy and Telephones, featured John Liffen Curator, Science Museum London, who spoke at the University of Salford. This prestigious conference, organized by University of Salford's Professor Nigel Lynch, mistakenly concluded that there was little or no evidence pertaining to the discovery of the first electric commercial telegraph systems of British inventors Cook and Wheatstone. Science Museum Communications Curator John Liffen's point of view presented at the Archicom Conference, Salford University. Quote, the electrical communication systems that we had concentrated in this country have very largely come and gone. So if you look, if you want to look at the present day evidence, some of the earliest telegraph instruments in the country, you'll just have to scratch around." Unquote. 